Hello everybody, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I took a break from making videos for a while because I took a break from Nerf to work on a couple Warhammer things down under here. And I know you guys don't really appreciate my Warhammer videos, so I didn't make any. So I just decided not to make any videos last week. Anyway, I'm back. So, I had a friend come over, actually a couple friends come over yesterday, and uh, one of them left me with a couple things to modify. So I've got a Raider to work on. He already shotgun gripped it. So I uh, don't really like the shotgun grip, but it's something new. It's much better than the Alpha Troopers. The grip, I mean. He also left me a recon. I just finished this uh, maybe a half hour ago. Just uh, He removed the air restrictors, but he couldn't get it working. Uh, the spring he put in it was too big, so it wouldn't uh, compress all the way and lock into place. So I uh, put a strong but smaller... Uh, spring in it, uh, fixed the catch with a new catch spring, and uh, took out most of the locks, just random stuff. Uh, this I have something fun, something, something fun in mind for. That's what I meant to say. So a little while ago at Apocalypse, I uh, became the owner of a red recon. Now the, I traded for it. Uh, can't remember what though. The, um, sorry, I was interrupted. Uh, I have no idea what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, this recon. So, uh, I obtained, I traded for a red recon. Uh, it had its, this is just the shell. It had its air restrictors removed, and, uh, that's it. So, I wanted to do something special to it, because it's the red edition. It's rare. So, um, let me show you. This is the overall blaster. Oh, and this is... Uh, something fun that I've been doing with most of my guns lately, crap, is uh, when I'm not integrating something, I'll fill the open spaces with hot glue because that makes it, uh, it makes the blaster heavier, which is, uh, to a certain extent, which is a nice feel in the, uh, when you're using it because it's not, oh, this is plastic and it weighs half a pound. No, this is like a solid thing now. I could throw this and hit a rock with it and it would not explode because this is like, well, don't take my word for that, but you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, let's disassemble this. I'll show you the special parts about it. Uh, basic spring, I'm going to be putting a, uh, what's that spring called? Rapid fire shotgun spring in it. Uh, don't have it yet, but I'm going to be. Uh, same catch, new catch spring. Plunger, I took this apart to pad it because uh, I don't have any padding in there yet. The way I do that is I take uh, a Mega Dart, which is from the hand cannon set. I have uh, two of these that have been snipping off little bits from and putting a ring of super glue on it and then uh, shove that all the way down. Very nice padding. So that's how that's done. Let's see if I can actually get this apart. So this, I have not actually glued down and in yet, but I so I can take it out and show you. So here's the plunger. So it's uh, it's just a normal plunger, but here's the special part. I made a 7, 6, 17 30 seconds brass uh, template for it, which uh, slides in on the inside here. And I'm going to be gluing this in. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Because I did this mod maybe 10 minutes before I started recording. And that slides in, and that's now uh, perfectly sheathed within the stock, within the stock plunger, I meant. So the dart slides in uh, fine, just as normal. The thing is, it grips it a little harder, so yes, it creates friction, but it also creates a really nice air seal. Ready? So it's got a lot of power behind it. <laughs> uh, there it goes. So ready? The thing is, it doesn't want to let go, so it waits till air really builds up in the plunger, so the plunger moves halfway in before the dart starts moving, so that's a high concentrate of uh, pressure, which flings the dart out of this uh, tighter chamber, which then makes it go a lot further. I also did an airflow mod back here. There are, uh, when there's the air restrictor in here, uh, where would the air restrictor be? About here, right after this uh, cylinder thing. So when the air restrictor's in here, there's uh, a plastic disc, the restrictor itself, and then another plastic disc. I used a very large drill bit to completely obliterate the first plastic disc, 
and I left the second one in there, the the one that's closer in, to stop darts from moving, but uh, removing that first disc uh, allows more uh, of an airflow to actually go through, which makes this mod actually possible, because if I hadn't done that, the air wouldn't have had enough space to move in, and the dart probably would not have fired, or if it had fired, would not have gone very far. But uh, this is reliably shooting about 45 feet right now, which with the stock spring, which I think is pretty freaking cool. So with the, uh, the new spring, uh, once I put that in, I'm hoping to get 55, maybe even 60. That'd be pretty cool. I also did uh, a very basic mod to the front, which is uh, this is a half uh, schedule 40 electrical conduct uh, half coupler. Uh, it's the same thing as PVC, but it's just a hair thinner, so it uh, slides in there, and it's stuck in there nice. It's just a cosmetic mod, but it looks cool. It goes up and down. Yeah, I like it. So that's the new Nerf things that I've been working on. Oh, yeah, uh, that's another thing I completely forgot. Notice something different? I got my braces off. Woohoo! That happened earlier today, and they gave me this really cool water bottle that was filled with candy, which is uh, half gone already, but I like candy. And my teeth feel very strange because I haven't felt my gums in two years now because of my braces. No braces, no braces. Yeah, okay, see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.